Hi everyone, it's Jack and Nick from Call Elements. Thanks for joining us today. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below. In today's guide, we'll be taking you through how to deploy Azure DevOps self-hosted agents using the code provided in our GitHub repo. The link is in the description. With just a few modifications of the code, you'll be able to deploy self-hosted agents in your environment. We'll be using Terraform to create the infrastructure to support the self-hosted agents and Azure DevOps pipelines to automate the startup and shutdown of the self-hosted agents. The provided Terraform code will deploy Azure Container Registry, a VNet and subnet required for Azure Container Instances, and an ACI container group for each type of agent image. Each agent is based on a container image built from a Docker file running with Microsoft provided script to register with Azure DevOps project. Agents can be customized with different components and tools based on your requirements. Now I'll pass it over to Jack who will take you through the process in detail. All yours, Jack. Thanks, Nick. Let's go over the prerequisites. First, we will need an Azure subscription. This is where we will be deploying a resource group which will contain the network ACR and the ACI. Next, we will need an Azure DevOps project. This is where we will set up the agent pool, import the provided GitHub resources, and create pipeline to deploy the required resources for the self-hosted agent to our Azure subscription. First step, let's import the GitHub repo into our Azure DevOps project so that we will have all the necessary files. Next, let's create the agent pool in Azure DevOps, where our self-hosted agent will be registered to. In the project settings, select the agent pools blade and create a new pool. Make sure you select self-hosted when choosing the pool type. We will name it agent pool for our demo. Now we'll create a personal access token for the agents to use authenticate with our Azure DevOps project and register with the agent pool. The personal access token should have permission to read and manage agent pools and read all the log for auditing. Note that this generates a secret token that you must copy before leave the screen. It's not retrievable after. Now that the personal access token is created, let's create the variable group and the variable needed to run the pipeline. Navigate to the pipeline plate, select library, and create a new variable group called ADO agents and add the required variables. See the GitHub repo or our guide, link in the description, to get the complete list of variables. Next, let's create a pipeline. Navigate to the pipeline plate and create a new pipeline using the existing file in the pipeline folder. In the dropdown, select build agents image YAML file. Once the pipeline is created, create two pipeline variable called number of Windows agents and number of Linux agents. Select the option to let user override this value when running this pipeline. These variables will tell Terraform how many agents to deploy. So 
So far, we have imported the GitHub repo into ADO, created the need variable group, and created the pipeline. Next step is to make the necessary change to the Terraform files that reflects the Azure subscription. We will open up VS Code and start with the ACR configuration. Located in the Terraform ACR folder, change the value of the variables to match your desired configuration for your subscription. Keep in mind that this is the resource group that all the resources will be deployed to. Next, let's configure the desired values for our actual agents, the Azure Container instance. The file we need to update is located at the Terraform Agents folder. Make sure you have the proper network and image configured for the agents. Now we're done configuring the code and pipeline to build and deploy our agents. Let's take a quick look at the Docker file to see how the agents are configured. Here is our setup for the Linux agent. In the Docker file, we have various tools installed to meet our DevOps requirement. Tools that are commonly used are installed in the agent to speed up our pipeline. At the end of the Docker file, we include a star shell script. This file is provided by Microsoft to register the agent with Azure DevOps agent pool. In the Windows agent Docker file, it's basically the same setup, but with tools more specific for a Windows environment. Here, same thing. Microsoft has provided the start PowerShell script to register the agent with the Azure DevOps agent pool. You can customize the agent image to meet your DevOps requirements by modifying each Docker file. Now let's run the pipeline to deploy Azure Container Registry, build the agent images, and deploy the self-hosted agent. Now the pipeline has finished, let's take a look at our Azure environment. In a resource group, we can see the Azure Container Registry has been deployed. Open the Container Registry, select the repositories. We can see the Windows Agents and Linux Agent Image repo. Go back to a resource group. We can see one Linux container instance and two Windows container instance deployed. These container instance runs the agent used in the image we built earlier. Let's take a look at our Azure DevOps agent pool to see if self-hosted agents are registered with the agent pool we created earlier. We have one Linux agent and two Windows agents online and ready. We have now successfully deployed the Azure Container Registry, build agent images, and deploy self-hosted agent using Azure Container Instance. Thanks, Jack. That was a great walkthrough on how to use our repo to deploy self-hosted build agents for Azure DevOps. Thanks everyone for watching the video. Don't forget, please subscribe to the channel, click on like, and leave a comment down below. See you at the next one.